Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. The storm devastated the island and left many without power, still people not having power out there. Electricity has only been restored to 68% of Puerto Rico, and still many are living without water and food. Tina is learning how you can help by attending a great event tonight. Hi, we got Ana Matasantos, our former finance director, and a great fundraiser because there's so much still going on and so much that needs to be done. Can you update us? Yeah, I mean, uh, three and a half million Americans are still suffering the, the consequences sure. of Hurricane Maria. You know, I was just visiting one of the places we'll be raising funds for, and to see a kid say the first thing that he feels every day is a wet floor um, because the water, the water is still coming in. 60,000 people uh, don't have roofs over their heads, and uh, tarps are being installed at 1,000 uh, a day. So it's going to yeah. be quite a while before things get to, um, get to a better position. You know, we're, we're here. And many of us feel so helpless. And I know finances are the way that we help. So, and the fundraiser as well. What is this fundraiser? So, this fundraiser is tonight, starting at about 6:30 uh, at Sierra 2 on 24th Street, uh, a bit south of Broadway in Sacramento. And we're raising funds for two great organizations. One is called Proyecto Nacer, and it's a, it's uh, another one is called Peces. They are in two different areas of the island, um, and they're just doing direct assistance. Normally, they're schools, but they've, uh, you know, are so Peces is still running their school. Nacer has to repair their roof before they're able to, uh, you know, begin those services. But they're delivering health services in the community, mental health services in the community, and helping people have food, water, and all the basic necessities that right now um, they're being affected. Those are the basics. Happening. And then, uh, of course, having a roof or someplace sl safe to sleep. But so school has kind of gone wayside, right? Yeah, school, they're still not, um, you know, they've, they've started to restore as many schools as they can. But... Um, but not all schools are being able to uh, be going, and uh, people are still dealing with the absence of electricity. Too many don't have running water, um, and too many are dealing with the challenges of having their, you know, it's a tropical island, uh, so these American citizens are in a position of having their houses continue to get wet um, oh. until they, they get the assistance that they need. So, so this is a way of us here in Sacramento uh, helping our brothers and sisters in Puerto Rico, um, and we're looking to, you know, have... Uh, a good time with mariachis, uh, tacos, and uh, and try to do our part to help uh, the people of Puerto Rico. Okay, again, how much are the tickets? Uh, it's really just a suggested donation level of around $25, but um, we just want people to donate what they can to be able to Every help. Every little Puerto bit Rico. helps. Absolutely. Bit. Thank you so much. Thank so you nice very much. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you All as right. well. Can be back over to you. Well, more than 100 volunteers are wrapping.